baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be And live my life off screen Taking Hey guys, it's Sharika and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So before we jump into today's vlog, I would like to give a special shout out to Curly Me Hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So they sent me over a 12 inch Brazilian frontal wig and this is it. So last night when I got the hair, I did dye it. Y'all know I use my texture and tone. I dyed the hair, I let it sit overnight. And then this morning before I went to the gym, I let it sit up under the dryer and now it's on my head. <laughs> and I really do like this. Y'all know like this is one of my favorite hairstyles to wear, especially in the hotter months. And I live in Florida, so it's pretty hot here right now. Um, so the wig comes cut already. I didn't have to do anything to it. I did clip it just a little bit in the front because the front pieces were a little long, a little angle. Um, but other than that, I didn't have to cut the back. It was like the perfect length for me. So again, this is um, 12 inches long and I love it. It's really easy, really simple. So I just bumped it a little bit and yeah. Part it down the middle and this is like my go-to style really simple it's so pretty so i'll have all the information in the description box on this hair if you guys want to get you one now i know that i've been having some issues with some of the links um to my unit so usually once the video goes live um they will check to make sure that the link is working and if it's not working then we will get it straightened out but everything should be okay right now so go ahead and click the link in the description box to order you one of these units because i know i'm going to get questions about it so if you see this unit again it's curlymehair.com links in the description box below i'm gonna try to pluck it a little bit around the sides i usually don't pluck my hair just because like when I clean my lace and everything it kind of thins out around the edges anyway once I clean the lace so that's why I really don't I'm not too big on plucking but um it looks so good y'all know I love this style so yeah I did go to the mall pick up some stuff from H&M H&M and Forever 21 but I just have everything in this bag so I want to show y'all what I picked up now really quick I bought like the same things just in different colors because that's just the way that I shop if I see something and I know that it'll look good I'll buy it in another color if it's available so I bought these wide leg pants y'all know I've told y'all already that I am really into these this time of the year because it's really cute to wear with like a cute little tube top or a halter top sort of long woven pants the legs are just like this so y'all know I have the silk pair from Target well the satin pair from Target so yeah, these were $22.99 and I got mine in a size large. So I got the black. I got the olive color. And this, All of my pants are in a size large, which I'm expecting them to loosen up throughout the day. So I got the olive green and, and then I got the white ones. So these are gonna look so cute for the spring and summer. My cute little tops. I gotta lose a little bit of weight first though, girl, cause I, I gotta tighten up, but they're gonna look really cute, trust me. And then what else from Forever 21? Oh, and then they had these cute little tops here that look so good with pants like this. But you can't really see it, but nice little flowy top. So I got this one in white. I got it in brown. Same one, it's brown. And y'all know these would be cute with jeans or the wide leg pants that I have. And I got the tops in a medium. Well, this top was in a medium. I got this one in a large. 
because I need a large, but this one still fit cute. And then I bought this one. And this one has like the tie up detail in the front. So you can make it as tight or wear it as loose as you want to. And this is in a pistachio. So this one is a little different from the other ones because the other ones don't have the tied up detail in the front. So I bought the pistachio color and I bought the white one. Super cute. I can't wait to wear this y'all. It's going to be so cute. But I, like I said, I got to drop a couple, but y'all know I, your girl been working on her fitness. So I've been in the gym. Okay. All right. Oh, and then I bought a black one, but it's just like the um, brown one. So I bought this style in the brown and black, brown, and white. And then the one with the tie-up detail, just the pistachio and the white. So that's what I got from Forever 21. And then from H&M, I found this really cute dress. I love dresses like this y'all can't really tell but i'll try this dress on for y'all but this dress is so cute hopefully y'all can see me good this dress is so cute and it does nothing for my shape but i love dresses like this and i had to get i got this one in a size medium 14.99 to me h&m clothes uh, run a little big not their jeans but like their tops and their bottoms and their dresses, to me, they run big. So I got a medium. I probably could could have done a small, but um, you know, around the arm part will be a little tight. But um, again, this does nothing for my figure. I know, but it's super cute. So I like it. Oh, and this dress was, I wanna say 19 dollars Let me see, $14.99 for that dress. And then I bought this little black satin top, just a black button down top. And this one was $19.99. And then I bought this really pretty wrap shirt. So it looks like this. And this top was $24.99. $24.99, yeah, really cute. So that is all that I picked up from the mall yesterday. So right now I'm getting ready to go fix myself some lunch because I'm pretty hungry. Um, I think it's about three o'clock in the afternoon and I have not had anything to eat. Okay, y'all, so now I'm getting ready to make myself some lunch. It is 2.43 in the afternoon. I have not had anything to eat yet. So I'm just going to do a shrimp salad. Good morning, y'all. Today is Monday. And I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I'm getting ready to make me some pre-workout. Let me lift y'all up and go to the gym. We're just gonna do um, like an hour on a treadmill. I'm gonna wear my, uh, oh, this is, oh, this is not even. I'm gonna wear my sweatband today. I wanna wear my waist trainer, but it's at the bottom of my band where I keep my workout stuff and I don't feel like going through all that. So I'm supposed to do a mukbang today, but I'm also trying to eat healthy like all week. But y'all know I just do, um, I have a seafood mukbang channel, so I don't really eat like a lot of crazy stuff. But this week I want to be really, really strict. So I still can eat the crab, um, just probably without the sides. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Y'all, I just had, like, I'm very tired. I didn't get any sleep last night because of what happened yesterday at the park. And it just, it just kept replaying in my mind. Like, it was, 
it was crazy y'all i'm telling you it was crazy so i woke up at like 101 this morning and you know tossing and turning and i just laid there and just thought about it because i couldn't go to sleep and then i turned on the tv watched a little bit of tv and then i didn't fall asleep until about 4 30. so now i'm up and it is i think it's almost oh it's 904 so while i'm waiting on my pre-workout to kick in i have to show y'all these shoes that i ordered from amazon now first of all i follow this account on instagram right here and these shoes are so sexy they're so cute but they're very expensive i think they almost like 700 dollars so y'all know me i'll go on the hunt and i'll find the dupe and i found the perfect dupe so let me show y'all they're so sexy so this is it look at this shoe now i'm gonna do a side by side comparison and tell me this is not the perfect dupe they so good look at this this is like the perfect shoe this shoe is just super sexy. I'll have the link in the description box. Made it back home and I stopped by the grocery store. I'm not too sure if I told you guys, but I've been feeling like crap because I've been eating like crap. And so I need to switch it up this week. So I'm going to try to eat, you know, some better foods. So I'm going to just go over everything that I picked up for the week. Asparagus, watermelon that I started eating in the car, green beans, kale blazer, green machine pomegranate juice garlic parmesan italian vinaigrette stuffed crabs baby spinach fancy greens seafood boil scallops grouper lobster tails crab legs and lemons so yeah that's all that i picked up from the store today um, i'm gonna try these hopefully they taste pretty good i'm sure i'll probably have to doctor them up a little bit but i want to try them so i decided to can steer the flounder i've never had it this way i'm used to just either fry or bake so it's looking pretty good so far I just finished answering a few emails so right now it is 6 18 and that used to be my club by the way 6 18 <laughs> but um i am getting ready to go to the store because i've started like trying to watch what i eat um i'm not gonna call it a diet but i'm trying to watch what i eat because i'm telling y'all like i've been feeling so bad lately and i know it has a lot to do with what i've been putting in my body because i just basically just been doing whatever i want to do knowing good and well 
that my face will swell up my body will swell up like it's just been a lot and i'm tired of feeling bad so i said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and just try to do better and last night me and my husband was struggling a little bit because we didn't have any snacks that we were willing to eat um so I did buy like a bag of the mini cucumbers because I love those mini cucumbers. And we bought them like last, I think it was like Saturday. And I haven't opened the bag yet. And I went in there to open the bag last night and the cucumbers went bad. So I'm gonna go to the store and just pick up um, just a few things that I can just go in and grab, snack on, maybe some fruit. So I'm going to go to Fresh Market and grab some fruit. So I usually like to get my fruits from either Fresh Market, Whole Foods, or Publix. So I'm going to go to probably Fresh Market and grab a few things that I can just, you know, grab when I feel like I want a snack. Um, so I probably won't eat anything else heavy for the rest of the day. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to go up here and grab a few things because I need it. That'll just stop me from just grabbing some chips or something. So right now I'm just snacking on some lightly salted cashews. I love cashews. I've had these for a while. I just grab a few out of here. So yeah, let's go to the grocery store. Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding. Multiplying. Okay, y'all. So I made it back from the store. My little snack run. And I ended up grabbing quite a few things. So let's do a quick little grocery store haul. Sea salt and lime tortilla chips. Live Love Pop with truffle salt. Organic honey. Suja celery juice. Suja sweet beets. Pure green. Green tea matcha. Almond milk. Mint leaves. Berries. Sesame ginger. Cauliflower pistachios, carrots, avocados, pears, grapes, tomato, and hummus. So that's everything that I picked up. This was a snack run. The only thing that I wasn't expecting to purchase was the suja drinks. I've never tried these before. I don't think I've ever had celery juice. I've had celery mixed in some of the green juices that I've tried but I've never just had cold pressed celery juice so I bought two of these and then the sweet beets the only reason why I tried this cold press was because it had the apples banana and orange in it so I feel like it might not be as bad but I absolutely hate beets but I bought two of these and then I got the pure green. This is actually the one that we usually purchase if I go to a place that makes the fresh cold pressed juices. So this one has apple, lemon and ginger, kale, spinach, cucumber, celery, zucchini, and romaine. And then I did want to try this dressing. Um, it's a superfoods dressing, just sesame, ginger. Um, that's the salad dressing that I get when I go um, to have Japanese food. I get this on my salad. So hopefully it tastes good. And then the reason that I bought the cauliflower is because I'm going to do some mashed cauliflower. And I wanted to get like some plums and peaches, but um, I don't like my plums and peaches to be too soft. So I didn't grab those, but I did grab these pears. I haven't had pears in a long time. And then I plan on making some fresh guacamole. I forgot to get the shallots because um, I still use my friend's guacamole recipe. It's so bomb. So that is everything I picked up for my little store run. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up. 
meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. 